Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Anna. In today's tutorial I want to share with you some fundamentals of heel stands. Also I want to talk about something that I would call as safety measures of dancing. This is some technical skills that will help to prevent you from getting injuries due to muscles overuse. And also I'm going to show you the correct heels posture and the first heels position bevel. So let's get started. And let's begin with the correct dance posture. So you want to engage your core muscles and now I want you to bring your arms up like so and pull your shoulders, blades down towards your hips. Also, at the same time, breathe in and push your chest with your shoulder blades front and up, like so. So open your chest, sternum forward. And you, at this moment, you want to stretch your lower back muscles. And this moment is very important because it's very attempting here to engage your lower back muscles and this is when they overwork. And overwork, overuse lead to problems with spine. And also, if you want to protect your spine from injuries, you want to have a nice, good, strong core muscles. And especially when we talk about heels dancing, uh, you really need to keep balance. And at this moment, I really engage my glutes, my uh, hamstrings to keep me in this position and also protect my lower back. Now I don't engage my lower back at all. And also a tip for you, if you want your lower back to be safe, always engage your glutes. When glutes are engaged, your lower back will be protected. And also a little moment, if you put too much work on your lower back, your abdominal muscles won't be able to complete their work. So, and uh, usually when there is too much tension, too much work here, you will end up by having your belly falling out like, like so, like belly will be like that. And uh, also a little moment before we will move, body blocks. You may feel that it's challenging for you to Open your chest to stretch your lower back muscles and it's normal if you have body blocks. And in this moment I highly recommend you to work on removing those body blocks because they really make us struggle when we walk, when we dance, when we live our lives. So especially for you as for a dancer, having blocks it means you engage a lot of muscles that you don't need to work in the, at this moment. So, but this is the topic for another video. And this is my story. Previously, I actually wasn't able to open my chest and keep my back straight. And also I always had pain in my lower back. And I also couldn't really keep my pelvis in neutral position. So, and we will keep going. And now we will talk about being parallel as we dance heels. So what I mean by parallel? You want to keep your shoulders over your hips, your hips over your knees and over your feet. I mean you never go like that. You never go like this. You never go like that. Like so. You want to always change your positions like this way. Keeping always parallel with your feet, with your shoulders, with your hips. Of course, it's more beautiful this way, but as well, it's very important for protecting you from injuries. Because at any moment, you can go like that, like this, because, uh, you know, dancing on heels, it's quite challenging. You can lose balance at any moment. And uh, so, Dancing like that, you can hurt your hip socket, you can hurt your ankles, and um, I don't think that you want that. So, you know, when we dance heels, 
we keep always parallel. And uh, now we are moving to the last part and this is bevel. The first heel position, bevel. Looks like that. And now let's go back to the correct dance posture. And now from this position I want you to transfer your weight to your left foot. At the same time extend your right foot like so. As you can see I keep my right foot on ball of my foot. <laughs> and uh, like so. Uh, what you want to do now? You want to put together your ankles and your entire thighs like so. And the last little thing you want to sit into your left hip like this and this way you are getting these nice lines over here. Also a very important technical tip uh, when you transfer your weight and when you are sitting into your hip what I mean by that? First of all you never bring your hip like that. You are never sitting just if it's left hip into your left side. No, it's always a bit backward and to the left. So it's like diagonal. You are really sitting into your hip. No like this, but like this. So let's go back to our bevel. And it looks like that. And also, as you can see, I know it's very attempting to get this nice curve over here by your lower back because this part of your spine is the most flexible but it's better if you really challenge yourself pushing your sternum up. This is uh, how you can get this nice back curves without injuring your spine. So, and you sit into your left hip. It looks like that. And now I want you to try to transfer your weight from right bevel to left bevel. How we are going to do that? So from here, from my right bevel, I start coming on both my... Okay, hey Arnita. On both balls of my feet, like that. And from here, I transfer my weight to the right. I sit into my right hip and, as you can see, my left bevel, ankles and uh, inner tire ties are kissing. There is no gap between. So you really want to look nice and beautiful over here. And one more time. Up and down, up and down, down, up and down, up and down. So, and this is all for today. You can practice, practice your alignment, practice your bevels, and um, I will continue in my next videos. So we are done. This is the end of this tutorial. I hope you liked it and it was useful for you. And I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye!